We don't sift the seed, we sow. The Lord's made plenty of wine for all of his children. Look at Christ, the creator. Here is where we'll close. Verse 11. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of his signs through which he revealed his glory. Friends, remember where we were. Verse 50 of chapter 1. You ain't seen nothing yet. And now here we are, verse 11 of chapter 2. The best is yet to come. You ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. All in Christ. Note to the use of the word sign versus miracle. John wants to make sure that you and I recognize that these signs are to point us to Christ. We live in a day today where there's too much hyper-charismatic movements about and the miracles become the focus. Everybody wants the bread instead of the bread of life. Everybody wants the stuff instead of the Savior. John is intentional. God is intentional using the word sign here. Because signs point us to. Signs explain. The whole idea here is that the implication of these miracles are far more important than the application of these miracles. This is what God is bringing to you and to me. So much. This is to show his glory. And I I wish we could spend a, a week just there. Think about this. This whole point, the issue with the new wine, the catastrophe, the shock of realizing I'm out of wine, I got nothing, was all designed to demonstrate Christ's glory. This is his first public demonstration of his glory. I want to ask you, please pray about understanding his glory. This is the epitome of the celebration, friends. We started with the promise that says that if you will deal with, embrace the problem, you can then enter the party based on the promises and the power of God Almighty. That you and I saw the Shekinah glory. The reference here is back to the tabernacle in the wilderness. You see, Jesus' signs are his rays of hope and truth, demonstrating that he is the king. And now we see for those who will embrace his glory, those who did and do believe, and those who ultimately follow, that's verse 12, they will celebrate in the feast of feasts forevermore based on their faith in the gift of the gospel grace of God alone. And I leave you now with one more illustration through song. This is my new favorite song. And I pray that you will allow these words to richly pour into your heart. And think about John chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. I pray in a new way. And again, this song will preach if you let it.
friends if you wonder why I say you know there's a million songs why that one that song tells the full gospel and I want you to think about this you might have an angry atheist friend they can't help but to tap their toe to that song you can't help it you might think the guy looks goofy you might be wondering what are they doing in a woodworking shop doesn't matter here's truth and love in a way that speaks into our culture that's missionary material friends This is beautiful. Don't go home the same way you came. Don't drink the bad wine anymore. Amen.